Okay, I just did want to do a real quick video on this little prop controller I've been working on. It's a uh, four channel uh, relay output, a learning controller. Uh, it's got four relays up here. They'll run AC or DC current, whatever you need, up to about five amps worth of current per channel. Each one's got its own fuse to uh, protect anything from an overcurrent situation. It's about $10 to build as is right here with all these parts. Uh, there's a couple options we can add in. I'll go through those in a little bit. Um, to record a sequence, we'll push this first button and that's the record button. And then this yellow LED will pop on and it's time to just start pushing the rest of the buttons in whatever timing order you need to get your prop to do whatever you want. And you can push two buttons at a time or, you know, whatever you need up to about a minute's worth of recording time on this. And then when you're done, you just push this button again, the light goes off and then whenever it's triggered, it'll play it back just the same way you tapped everything in. To trigger it, you can hook a PIR sensor up to this header over here, or you can just push this button right here to play it back. And it'll do just the way I pushed them in before. Okay, and now we've got this, uh, the add-on card. It's a uh, MP3 player from uh, MD Fly, I think is the website where you get these from. It's about $10 add-on, so it still brings the total cost to right around $20 for this. And then it gets the uh, MP3 avail feature available on the little controller. It's actually playing a song right now. But I've got the speakers turned off just for the video. But uh, sorry, I didn't use Halloween music. I just kind of wanted to show how well it actually does play in music. But it'll play this file and it'll just loop until we trigger it and it does and the prop does its thing. So this is kind of, I guess, like the ambient soundtrack. And uh, if we want, we can push this button right here to turn the volume up and this one will turn it back down and uh, if we hit the trigger button over here it'll play back the same sequence that it played before I'll get the volume up a little bit and it'll switch the soundtrack and then it'll the relays will click just like they did before And then after a few minutes, it'll switch back over to the ambient audio and be ready to trigger again. I hope you guys like it, find a use for it maybe. Uh, it's all home matchable, real easy to put together and extremely cheap. So if you need some help, let me know. I'll help you get one together. <laughs>